<laughs> so I'm looking at these three statues, and it's just, it's reminding me of something, but I don't know what. I don't know what exactly. <laughs> it's making me think of these three statues and these three shapes specifically. Well, two of them ain't fat, so I don't know what you're thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody, my name is Mayhem. I'm Jitsu. I'm Duke. And today we're back with another episode of Fossil Fighters. We got the final of the possibly only three statues. And just looking at these shapes, it's just, it. there's something... <laughs> There's something on my mind. Uh. The fact that you're in the middle right now is also the fact that we're looking, if we look straight ahead at each one, oh, it's can ours. Can I have cookie? I was looking at oh, it as... Oh, diabito. I was looking at it as I'm the skinny one, and yeah. there's not enough fat ones for the both yeah. of you. Shut <laughs> <laughs> Ah, he's average. Now, we're going to do something <laughs> that I forgot that we, we said last time that we're supposed to be doing. Uh, it's going to be... Good Stuff morning, with B B B B boss. Ba, ba, ba. Oh yeah, the ba, ba, boss. The ba, boss. Ba, 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 bandits. The advanced fighter seminar is currently being held over at R Ravine. Oh, thank you. All the fighters who attend fight f find fossils the likes of which they've never seen before. I recommend it. Okay. I keep forgetting to grind off screen. I keep forgetting to. You, you know what I'm okay with? What? You not grinding off screen. <laughs> It's important for the fact that we're going to die so many times and it makes the episode so much longer. Officer Jinzu! I'm eating donuts, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Edit a thing of donuts right next to him. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Walking, right? I have to, I'll have to ask you to follow me to the police station. Police station. No. Police station. To the police station. Oh, I, can't, I can't do a good accent. Hey! Sorry to drag you down here walking, my boy, but there's something I need to ask you. Wait, no, fuck that. Do, do King... Fuck, I forgot his name. King Hyrule from the CDI games? I've oh. never seen it. You've never seen it? My boy. My boy. This Have you never seen it? I, I never watched those. Like, okay. uh, all, all I know is, oh boy, smooching time. Oh my god, that's seriously all you know about fucking... About the CDI games? games? Okay, yeah. just let me read That's this line crazy. in the voice so that you know you, what it you is. You go right ahead with the voice then. I don't know it. Yeah. You see, Ro Rosie has been kidnapped. Oh. We got this letter from the kidnappers. Let me read it. Bring the idols to the park area, Doc. I know you've been spending a lot of time with Rosie. Do you know anything about these idols they mention? No. Because you know what you're not supposed to worship. <laughs> He's uber Catholic. <laughs> because uh, we, we don't know anything about them at all. <laughs> We're a bit of a lost lad. We, the harvest is almost here. We need to pray. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Walken, thanks for your time. Sorry to bother you about this. You can go home now. Man, a Catholic police force. I could never imagine that. I wonder if <laughs> I wonder if mass is over yet. I wonder what will happen to Rosie if no one takes those idols to the park area, dog. I think a spot on impression. <laughs> so how spot on was that actually? Like I'm asking. No, it's actually is terrible. And look, Mister. Yeah. Jinzu, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what it will be the closer one? Um, he did like the pitch of the voice, good, but he didn't do like the, the voice. I didn't do the cadence yet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There was, there was a lot of kids missing. But um, by Mr. Richmond's orders, Viva Saw Island is now under strict security since the kidnapping incident. The mil we are now the military police. We are now the occupying force of this nation, and if you uh, repel us in any way, we'll call you terrorists. <laughs> if you try and send your dinosaurs on us, we'll kill them. <laughs> and you. <laughs> but please be careful out there, anyway. Don't do anything to break the law now. I remember finding it funny that. The... What are you doing? I'm sorry, you're going to jail. <laughs> I remember finding it funny how the Irish, because of how disliked they were in early America, the only job they really got where they were like, hmm, "We're we gonna have fun with this." Was cops? Cops. They were hired as cops. Oh. Yeah, they started getting hired as cops, and then suddenly it's like, "Oh, so you don't like the Irish?" Uh. <laughs> that sounds. You... That sounds a little by design. Oh, no one likes you. You should be the policeman. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, if it worked, it worked. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> it, didn't. it didn't fucking work. What are you talking yeah, about? If it works, it works. Oh, wait, it didn't. Wait a minute. <laughs> if it don't, it don't. What can I say? What can I say? Except, except you're welcome. Except we're fucked. 
<laughs> except we're gonna get raided. <laughs> what can I say except, oh fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's tell you where, where the thing going? is. Is it Seminar? Hey, Seminar, how are you doing? Hello again. Dig up anything good lately? No. Oh, hey, did you want to attend another seminar? Get more of your digging? Is, is that what I'm supposed to do? Great! First thing, let's see how much you progressed in your digging. Can you bring me 16 colored fossil rocks? It's better, if it's better to have more than 16, then get more than 16. Uh, it's good to have more than 16 just so I can drop them off uh, uh, over at the, the robot. It's boofy! Yeah. I remember being a kid and positively hating the games on the DS that were played <laughs> entirely on the bottom screen. And thinking just like, why would you... Even bother with that. <laughs> but then but then I played Chocobo Tales and I was like yeah. I guess, but I feel like the game could have still been played on the top screen. And they I, used the bot I feel like the bottom screen as the secondary screen makes more sense than for the top screen to be a secondary screen. Yeah. yeah I suppose. And also the fact that like your hands like if you're supposed to interact with the touch screen with the stylus or your hands or whatever, then you're more likely to miss out on things because your fingers are covering up the screen or whatever. I Meanwhile, mean, I mean, you. That's that's what the stylus is really for. You know, you you can extend the stylus yeah. to such a degree that it doesn't interfere. It doesn't obstruct anything. But like, like, I don't know. I There's don't only know. so much you can actually like keep from being obstructed. Like, even though yeah. it's like a small little thing, it's still gonna get in the way of something. The only time that having a game that was purely played on the bottom screen was like actually convenient was when my top screen stopped working. <laughs> Well, you want to go uh, for the funny thing of, like, uh, you know how there's always that one game that, for a lot of kids, uh, b destroyed their touchscreen? Like, absolutely was just obliterated. That's because, that's because some kids would fucking smash their stylus into their bottom screen instead of gently just writing. <laughs> Tap, 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 get that Yeah, thing. yeah that's then, what I'm saying. No, no, that's what I'm saying. The, no, the other one that actually fucked me up actually was Bakugan. Yeah. Ah! Bakugan was the one that actually fucked me up because uh, of, uh, you know those ones where you gotta tap and you gotta tap faster? Those are the ones that would always, like, fuck up yep. my screen the most where it'd be a little dent. I'm head. pretty sure they encouraged the the increased tapping I, because then knew... it would break it and then you would have to buy another. Mm. Maybe. But I knew I knew kids who would tap their screen yeah, so I hard that... I knew kids who would tap their screen so hard that the fucking colors would start changing. Oh, screen, God. And it would, like, ripple a little bit. And then, like, I knew this one kid who who liked to do that for fun. So he would get his stylus, go to the top screen, press really hard on it, and start doing, like, circles. Oh, that... I know exactly what kind of sound that makes because I, I knew someone also in school who did something similar to that. Yeah. And that... You just incited a... Not nostalgia, but, like, a fear, like, hate response to yeah. remembering that sound. <laughs> but I'll be honest, it was in the same way of like when you would put pressure on your eye and like see stars. Yeah. It was that for me. I hated doing that. I hated that whenever that happened. I would just like. I see... would. Fu I fucking love to doing that. Like, I'd... it. It, it like... hurt. Worse eye problems? Not as bad eye problems. <laughs> <laughs> would you look at that? <laughs> and yet we're all no wearing finger. glasses. <laughs> hey, have you collected your 16 color fossil rocks yet? No? Then give me some of that blue shit. <laughs> Mr. White. <laughs> There's something, there's something about his color scheme that reminds me of another character. I can't put my thumb on it, but it's driving me insane. I, I have the same feeling. <laughs> Is it a Pokemon character that you're thinking of? I don't know. I, I don't know. But it's it's the blue undershirt with the yellow like vest, and then under all of that is like the green, and then his hat is like the same like color scheme basically. Like this. Wait, like, wait. I thought he was wearing. I thought he was wearing a headband, and that was the top of his head. That's awesome. <laughs> But, like, the, dude, the, the color scheme, it's bothering me, bro. It's bothering me. And then his pants are, like, a navy blue. One. Someone in the comments, figure out where the fuck, the, uh, who the fu where the fuck else is this color scheme is in a character. I need pictures of iconic characters! <laughs> Imagine we go into a completely different game, and it's like, we finally find what game he's, uh, he is uh, from, like, the color scheme, and it's just Sam and Ar uh, Anaro again. It's just him? <laughs> like, Great! So you obviously mastered the skills I taught you before. I know the three voices in your head he just made a huge conspiracy theory about me. Now it's time to take the next step and fall. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I have been seen before. <laughs> Get ready for it. He slowly tilts his head towards the camera. Here it comes. The fire hose of knowledge going straight into your brain. Free oh. of charge. Alakazooie. Alakazooie. 
Every time he says uh, the fire hose of knowledge, I get scared. <laughs> Triple A grade. You mean like modern games coming you mean, out right now? You mean you 90, dark fossils? Ninety nine point nine percent methamphetamine <laughs> blue shit. Mr. These, White, these motherfuckers are segregating our fossils. <laughs> there's white ones, there's colored ones, and then there's black ones. Gustavo is Sammy Naro. Sammy, <laughs> you go to the you go to the. Is that is that where I've seen that color scheme? Am I thinking of a fucking Saul suit? No. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the urinal and you touch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Dark fossils are completely di different from any fossil you found up until now. For one thing, x-rays can't penetrate dark fossils. That's hot. You're the only, you'll only know what's inside by cleaning. Also, dark fossil rocks can be extremely hard surface. Oh, cleaning man. takes a lot more work. I also known as obsidian. Yeah, it's that's actually what it is. They're fossils that are like coated with obsidian. Hell yeah. You gotta use your hammer to break up the dark outer shell and then get to the creamy insides. <laughs> What's more, the fossils inside dark fossil rocks aren't typically fossils. Typical fossils. Typical fossils. T tropical fossils. <laughs> Here they have rare fossils or surprisingly big jewels inside. And, oh, and occasionally they contain more unusual items. <laughs> Can you find my wife? <laughs> I, more she unusual items. She was dark fossil. <laughs> they'll, 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 hide, they'll hide more unusual items, like baby strollers. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Maybe help me, help me find my wife. She was taken by a dark fossil. <laughs> They're hard to find and hard to clean, but the prize you get in the end is always worthwhile. And yeah, we're done. Good luck out there. Okay. I, tur I turned off. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess that over here is gonna be a dark fossil because this wasn't here before. Mm -hmm. And that's a jewel rock. Still gonna take it. Money. I still say every time that your character like turns towards someone when they're like, I want that fossil, it looks like you're gonna bash their head in. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you like when you go into a fight, your characters are automatically healed, or you had to heal them beforehand? What kind of game are we playing? RPG. RPG? Like, uh... like going into the fights here, our dinosaurs are always at full health. Do you find that convenient, or do you... Like games like Pokemon, where you have to go in and heal them manually before you actually go into fights. Um, Pokemon is a really funny example that you brought up because Pokemon has done both. <laughs> where where they will just straight heal you right before a big fight. Yeah. Um, Let me heal your Pokemon for it's, you. It's definitely like a developer-like choice thing where it's like, do I want this game to be hard as dicks? Well, I'm going to put you through the gauntlet. <laughs> and you get no fucking heals, bitch. But, um... I don't know. I think I think it depends. You know, I think if, if the game if the game very much thematically built up this difficult thing to be difficult, then I think uh, not having healing between fights is like good to have in place. And then when it's like casual stuff like this, where it's like you're kind of just there to do something that isn't fighting, then you'll you don't need to you don't need to like be you don't need to buy extra healing items. You don't need yeah. the game to be extra hard unless the devs want the game to be hard. Yeah. So like like Dragon Quest, where like if you're not using spells to heal or herbs to heal yourself that kind of stuff i want to play yakuza oh god you know I, i've been thinking about that i was like i think we should definitely have yakuza on the channel because that game is we're like breaking cause, the law because because out of context we're hilarious so law. playing the most out of context game ever <laughs> would be awesome but yeah. like now it's the question of who should play it between the three of us i i, I was i was actually gonna vote uh mayhem mayhem play because he would be the most confused and it would be the most funny watching his reactions. I want to play a game where it has turn-based combat, but then uh, the main character says "fuck you" and just does uh, their thing anyway. He does do that, huh? Yeah, I've I've seen he does that in the game of like he has the turn-based combat, and then the main guy just decides "fuck you" and just goes in and starts beating the shit out of the guy. <laughs> and I'm like, I want to play that. One of my one of my friends, one of my close friends from like elementary school, he actually played through the entire Yakuza series. Oh he, my god! He he streamed it on Discord. He streamed every second of it, and we watched him play it. And it was, it was awesome. That game is wild. <laughs> well, how many games are there? <laughs> Just the look on your face. Like ten. Jeez. And like, and they're, they're all huge. They're all like GTA oh. levels of huge. I was gonna I was gonna cut. I was gonna cut Duke off mid sentence and be like, "Is this my line? <laughs> 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 How did this happen? How could I, R R Roji, be kidnapped?" Yeah, I'm trying to do my Elmer Fudd. I can't do. I you can't were do doing Doctor Light. Oh, but yeah, that's Elmer Fudd. Yeah. <laughs> so the funny thing is, right now you're in between basically Elmer Fudd, uh, 
Dr. Light and How uh, could you save me? How could you get uh, me? <laughs> uh, Jimmy. You're also in between Jimmy. Jimmy. From South Park. What are you talking There's Timmy and just Timmy! Versus Jimmy who is just like What are you talking about? Friends. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a Timmy impression for this for this line, okay? Timmy! <laughs> 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 we have to go save Rosie, Duke! Yeah, where is she? Why did she get kidnapped off screen? How'd she get kidnapped off screen? Because she's an idiot! <sighs> Fossil can't. I wanna! Oh, I can't her. believe the only way to continue the story is to have her. I want to voice a character again. I'm gonna go back to bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back to bed. I'm going back to bed. I woke up at 4 p.m. today. Wait. I'm going back to bed. You. <laughs> it's time to go to bed. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Took you hours and hours. I got very, very large pockets. I got dude pockets. Dude pockets. I've got a laptop in there. I've got, got three I'm dogs. I'm a dude and I have dude pockets, which to me is just pockets. Every <laughs> single person on this planet has a dude pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's the butt. Oh, you know, I just have my my kidnapping device parked on the side of the road right here. There's a feeling of danger in the air. You should be ready for battle. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's another thing that games, I think, like, when the devs want the game to be hard or easy, they'll do shit like that. They'll, like, warn you. Yeah. Or they won't warn you. Like, when, I, I like, in Pokemon. When, <laughs> like, I love it when games go, like, this, you're you're under level for this. You shouldn't be here. And I go, fuck you! <laughs> Looks like you brought the idols. Smart. Smart. I take those, thank you. <laughs> I think I think those are good for for Pokemon games oh, where it's like or for, for like characters oh. like rivals that's what I mean Yeah. for characters like rivals or for characters who like they're not pushing the story necessarily they're, they're very much like setting the ground for if you want to get get past me you gotta make sure you're ready no no no, no. like cause that's pushing the story oh, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, a, yeah. that's a pushing the story type of uh, sense but like think of think of Legends of Arceus um and we're fighting Benny. That's a better example of if you want to get to if you want to get to eyebrows, you gotta get through me. Yeah. But, um, it's, but like another example from Pokemon would be in Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. You the last rival fight that you have in Fallboro City, you're allowed to you're allowed to give her a yes or no. Give give your rival a yes or no. Um, yeah. and then, and then that's your last rival fight. <laughs> and then there's also boys the, might be cooked. Um, there's also the uh, the. Steven's family, where you can oh, yeah. them, but like everybody says that like we're incredibly strong. Oh no, that's not that's not Steven's family. They they made that they made it them in the remake, I think. No, Steven's family is in is in um. I killed that man. He's dead. Steve, oh, yeah, Steven's in, family is in Verdant Turf and in um. Ro- Ro- Pedalberg. Ro- Pedalberg, yeah. Wait. Wait, are you just getting on the boat? Yeah. Did you take the boat from the guy? I killed him. You took him and get, killed the man. He's take gone. His boat. Kill the man. Take his boat. Kill yeah. the man. Take his boat. The ocean has to be the best body dump in the world because it's like mostly organic, <laughs> and it's water. So fish are gonna eat. Fish are gonna eat it. The the bottom feeders are gonna eat it. Clean that shit. Whatever the fuck will eat calcium. Will Crab, eat it. <laughs> crabs eat. Fish eat you. Eels eat you. Jellyfish Beepy eat base. you. And brother, the darkness is coming. <laughs> We're at the base. Drop the base. <laughs> yeah, I really should have dropped off my stuff. Rack. I like how you're digging for rocks in the enemy base. Yeah. You're not storming the base to get Rosie back. You're digging up racks. Yeah, there's just rocks. They're all it's rocks. It's like that in every JRPG. Oh, yeah, yeah. Instead of in- instead of fighting Ganon, I'm looking for this chest. I'm looking for 900 Koroks. Where are they? But <laughs> <laughs> baby, Do you think uh, Ganon should have like a catch? huge a huge MacGuffin like pick me up or what? What, what are those games called again? Like the Banjo Kazooie Collectathon. Collect- do, do you think uh, Do you think a game's Collectathon should be huge or it should be like a? I think it's more of like it's not so much the space that matters, more of like what. It's not um, it's not width. It's height. What do you mean? It doesn't matter how big the game is. It'll make size it, it, doesn't matter. Because <laughs> if you make it big, it becomes shallow. Then, when you accidentally start in the middle and start and you go in a random direction, that means you have twice the distance to go. Damn to girl. The other side. Right, right. But like, ex- but, my... but when it's heights, you start at the bottom and you work up. 
What do you mean by that? You're always, you're never gonna miss anything. You're always gonna be able when it's oh, smaller, okay. it's, you're it's, never gonna miss anything. It's linear. Yeah. It's linear. And it, and there's a lot, not so much linear, more of just like there's smaller, there's less space to miss stuff. Right. Like it, it's it's one thing to be able to go to both sides of the sidewalk, but if I'm stuck on just one side, one sidewalk, on one side of the road, that has all the stuff that would have also been on the other side, I'm just checking out this one sidewalk. Mm. And I'm, and I'm doing this thing here, then the next thing, then the next thing, then the next. Thing. Right. You're not. You don't have to start here. Then, oh, to get the best ending, you actually have to go over here to this one over here. No, it's like it start at one, go to one A, then one B, one C. It's not start at one A, who's right here, and then right next to one A is two C. So you're just like, oh, uh, fuck. Uh. <laughs> so that means that either you have to come back later or something like that. It's right. Just, right. That's the uh, backtracking. Backtracking. That that's what I hate too. Is I hate backtracking. Hmm. The only the only way that I like we're playing also a SpongeBob the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Those extra challenges don't become available until you have like abilities and stuff later on yeah. that allow you to actually complete the challenges. But that's the thing is that they're not available. So oh, <gasps> Jinsu, bow bow. bow! <laughs> You, you think, think he's trying to get the idols. Yeah, he should be able to narrate himself. <laughs> Why not? I'm the narrator. Ding! He's <laughs> <laughs> like, he won't be giving up. Okay, it's... what team we got? Okay, uh, so kill him. better to have kill one him. of these kill over him. here. Kill the dog! But like, what, what, ATF up in this bitch. Man, man, what I, what I wanted to ask you was like, when when you are doing a collect-a-thon thing, and like you do have what to like... Doing... like like, uh, like, say you're getting all 900 Koroks, or like Super Mario 64, or, or you're or you're playing Super Mario 64, or you're playing Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie, that whole game is about collecting shit. Yeah. So, yeah. so there's lots of different stuff to collect, but like in in handfuls in each level. Yeah. So like, there's like there's like these little guys that you have to get, right? And the then jiggies. Exactly. Not, not not the jiggies. They're, they're I think they're called something else. The jiggies are like the actual MacGuffin of the the level that you need to find to come uh. to go to the next level, but um. Uh, there's like these little dudes that you can find and if you find them all I think you get like you get access to further abilities or mm. you get like you just you, it like stuff stuff about the game is hidden and you have to collect stuff to yeah. unlock those things what I am with more collectathons Duke has seen me play Sly Cooper a little bit and he's seen and and with Spongebob also that I am kind of just I'm going forward there might be things that I missed over there I'm not gonna turn around to go back and get them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got so, it. Well, well, so, what was it? Real quick, I gotta mention when it came to this battle, how funny this is. Of, uh, so the confusion in this uh, game, it has confusion. The way that it works is it makes it so that the computer itself makes you do a random action. Usually, it like sends you back. But if you're not able to be sent back, then it makes it you waste points. Okay. And so wasting points in this case would be like using a max move and then going. Thing is, I perfectly set up my team so that it was immediately killing him every time he confused me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so he was forcing you to hit him. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Exactly. But yeah, in, in a game like Zelda, we're collecting everything isn't really the main I've never collected of... more than like 200 Koroks. I get enough. Not a collector. I get, I get enough uh, swords spaces because like they give you space. Right, right. I, I, I do enough to get comfortable with the amount I have, that, where it's like, I have the swords that I use right now, and then I have, like, three that I save for uh -huh. boss fights. And then that's it. I'm not uh -huh. doing... Like, if, I, if you find me playing Tears of the Kingdom, and I have almost 900 Koroks, you know that I either really like the game, and just playing the game feels good, or... It's not me. <laughs> I guess. I guess what I should have asked was, do you think 900 old Korox is overkill? <laughs> Fucking in, yes. In a in a game where you you're not really thinking about the Koroks, you're really thinking about the adventure. Yes, because I because I get invested in the story, and the story is like you gotta go do the thing. I'm gonna go stop, and I'm gonna go find these guys. Yeah, because the game is very much directing you to a certain objective that you Th want. That's to... why I don't like games that have a time limit. Oh hell yeah, he's back! So you're not getting by me, Squirt. Save yourself some pain and hand over the idols. 
Bro, you are f- zero for four. I don't know who you're threatening right now. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, beating, beating Rex doesn't impress me, kid. It just means that you're tough as a rolled up newspaper. Yeah. Nay! He actually just beats you. <laughs> he actually just does the whip nay nay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to nay. Oh, yeah. You, you want to see what his dinosaurs are? Hi. Look at that big schnoz on it. Big schnoz. Look at the big schnoz big on sh- it. Egyptian. Egyptian schnoz. And um, fuck you guys. Yeah. Uh, speed him up. Speed him up. Speed him up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so Get don't him. bring this guy. Get him. These two are fine. And then red up front is perfect. Kid. Uh, red beats yellow. But yeah, I'm, I'm very much... I, I prefer a game that I feel comfortable playing... That feels good to play. I'm invested in the story, and I can look cool. That's pretty right, much that's, it. That's really I'm all gonna, you care about. Yeah, I'm not gonna be going like I think the only time I would really try to 100% a game is like maybe Elden Ring. Like I've tried 100%ing it, getting all of the armaments, all of the achievements. I've gotten all the achievements, but I haven't seen all of the game. Like there's still like dungeons I haven't done and that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I've gotten everything. So, but by my standard, I'm done. Yeah. I've experienced the majority of what the game... When I experience the majority of what the game wants me to experience, that's where I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think the peaks of Elden Ring are stuff like the boss, th- the boss fights. I think the boss fights are... Well, obviously, the boss fights get a huge highlight in that game because it's the, the Dark Souls series. The, the whole stick. The FromSoft, like, the way they design the story to go, the boss fights are pretty fucking important. And they have to be important for you to even want to bother fighting them at all in the first place. Yeah. But, um... I think I think some of the peaks of Elden Ring are like the the Radon fight. The Rad- spectacle. The spectacle of the Radon fight, the Victory Um The yeah, Renala, like, <laughs> The Renala second phase. The Renala second phase is kind of ah! Rose is clipping through the fucking floor. <laughs> you wanna beat me? Backs up ah, ah. Oh, <laughs> You wanna beat me if I had my second cup of coffee this morning. Real. Sounds like my sister. Hi, <laughs> Vivian. He's all yours. My sister had two cups of coffee this morning. Oh, God. And you know, she's younger. She's got more energy. Holy shit. Yeah, I, oh, I, God. I, that exactly actually explains a lot. I really don't like drinking coffee when I wake up. Like, it's not... It's it, Like, I, I enjoy coffee as a beverage more so than something I, that I need. I need I need my morning coffee or something. I'm fucking like, 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 I feel so bad for people like that. I mean, granted, I have my I own... Under, I understand people like that. I understand. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. I understand it too, but like... Like, I don't know. I don't like the idea of needing something. I, I feel to... like I have to brush my teeth immediately. For me, that's taking a shower. I have to take a shower as soon as I wake up. But that's but because, it, like, physically... Well, after, after I drink a cup of coffee, I feel like I have to. Oh, brush my oh. Teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, no. I don't know. <laughs> God, I drank coffee. I need to take a fucking shower, man. Like... Yeah, that's what I was like. <laughs> Wait, <it's> like... <laughs> no, but when, when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, I gotta take a fucking shower. I feel disgusting. Yeah. What happens... <laughs> What happens if you wake up in the afternoon? <laughs> I, well, as soon as I, the second I wake up, I'm hopping in the shower. I'm washing <laughs> off all this extra oil and dirt and fucking... Because that's, that's at least eight hours dirty. Yeah. I understand it. And... But, um, Which is why it's probably better to go to... To take a shower before going to bed, rather than waking up in the But it's shower. still eight hours dirty. No matter what, even if you're clean, you're if, still. If you if you clean your bed and you and you're like you clean yourself before going to bed, then you're not sleeping in most of the dirty. Yeah, most of the dirt, but it's still like you're you're basically just creating well, excess it, stuff just by being there for a long period of time. But but I think I think it's better than going to bed with all the stuff you came up with for the whole day. Yeah, and we, then but, sleeping in that, and then waking up and being like, and then taking a shower. Yeah, <laughs> hey Vivian. Ah, hey, it's Vivian. Well, haven't you grown up? But haven't you grown up making it all the way to fit for? He's joining. Sounds and the same thing that went you, and you did it, failing in prison. Well, that's as they are. But that's as far as your ventures you go. Let's hand over the idols right here, right now. All right, the hard way it is. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you know, one of my favorite things about, um, about, like, about video games is is like character design and character playstyle. Yeah. Like when when those that Elden Bling. The... No, maybe, maybe not. Right, okay, maybe I shouldn't have said character design. <laughs> I, I, I should have said I should have said the design of the character's playstyle yeah. or something. I don't know. Where, but, more fighting game stuff where the character yeah. fits the the shtick of zoner or brawl archetypes, or different different archetypes of of fighting. And then like and then it's really important in like those types of games too because there's matchups. Yeah. Because it's like, okay, well, 
how does this character fare against this character? How it's does this a very look? complicated rock paper. It's the extended rock paper scissors. Yes. Um, with with a few extra rules here and there, depending on what the devs do and mechanics and all that. Kind of uh huh. Stuff. And then like um, what's what's also interesting about each fighting game is that like so, so like the rules of this world are are set in stone, right? We can't change that. You can't change how bullets move through the air. Yeah. But people figure it out. Oh, okay. If you make the bullet spin. Then it goes through the air faster, it goes through the air more accurately, and it does more damage. Yeah. Um, but what if you could change the rules so... Like, to like the, then like the reason why that's set in place is because the air is, is such a way that you need to be drilling through it as opposed to pushing it away. Yeah. Because pushing it away just reduces so much force from the, from the projectile. Um, but like in fighting games, some rules... Uh, can be like some rules that are set in stone can be changed not every fighting game has blocking in the air <laughs> if you're in the air your ass is open and it's like a huge commitment that you like you <laughs> you allow yourself to get your ass eaten in the air <laughs> <laughs> no but hey, we be Vivian. she's seeing 2d birds me, me me how could i have misjudged you straight so badly for the fourth time in a row perhaps it's time i reconsider my career options I lost to a child four times. Walk on her. Oh. Yeah. Step on her. Feeling of danger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I knew it. He has pigtails. My boy. Well, well, Walkin. What took you so long? With your accomplishments, I figured you'd be you'd make it here sooner or later. What, were you looking for colored rocks or something? I just thought it would be it would be sooner. No, now I got dark rocks. Oh. I know how to compete with that. I'm the police chief. Oh no. Poor Kidnap Roji here has been wondering if you would ever show. I really was planning not to. <laughs> oh, thank the <laughs> Lord. <laughs> thank the Lord. <laughs> Let me guess. You're kicking yourself for not seeing it coming. Why isn't she, like, tied up or anything? She just, she just has her mouth taped. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Style change. Look at that stash. No insult coming, of course. I warned the friendly, smiling mask of the police captain for a long time. Long time. Long, long time. Long time. I forget, but I think it might be funny if it actually is a mask, by the way. Like when he says <laughs> smiling mask, like an actual mask. Like the tragedy and comedy mask? Yeah, yeah kind of. <laughs> but it's but really it's his just face. his face. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the real me. Bartholomew Bullwart. B.B. Bosch. Yep. If you are just handed over the idols nicely, then poor Rosie wouldn't be in the situation. I defeated literally everyone on the. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What? So what? What is the tactical advantage of hiding as the police and then telling the one guy who has all the things you need to go to this specific spot? And you didn't even set up a trap for him. You were just doing that to reveal that you were both the police captain. And the, the crime organization boss. I think he's an idiot. <laughs> Mainly because I'm voicing him. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't write the script. <laughs> <laughs> they mentioned it later. The budget went to the dinosaur. Oh, hey, they mentioned it later. He actually is just a dumbass. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I hate to do this, but I... But can I have your spoiling my secret, can I? Kind of slurred your words there. Yeah, okay. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> okay, so I need water to beat those guys. And I need... Uh, let's see, to beat him, I need a fire. So I'll put him there. Hey. You're weak against that guy, so I'll put. Okay. But yeah, that whole like character design, like and like with fighting against stuff. Sorry, just, just as I'm trying to think, I'm just like, what do we do? What do we do? Oh <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah um, <laughs> that got picked up. With um with character design, there's uh there's two characters in in Street Fighter who are who are they're both charge motion characters, but one character likes to turtle. He likes to stay like, he likes to stay like ready, keep his charge, and he only has two moves. Hmm. Or he only has two special moves. So imagine imagine playing Smash Brothers with only Mario's fireball and his super super jump punch. And that's, Interesting. Those are the only two special. Interesting. Um, but his moves. The volume just turned off. The volume turned off. No, it's not you. I just noticed that. Yeah, the, I was said, hearing, no, thank you. I was hearing the do do do. Wait, slow it down, slow it down. No, you yeah, know it's gone. That was it. It's the, just gone. All the sound effects straight disappeared. All right, you want me to fix it real quick? Should we? Uh, I'd have to add it in post uh, post production. Do the you feel music. like doing that? 
Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> We're not missing too much. And it probably would come back after the yeah. fight or something. But, um, but yeah, so you have, you have... Here's the music. You have, you have one character who moves slow, Can I use has only two two special attacks, and then his, like, buttons... Because you get, like, six attacking buttons yeah. in, in Street Fighter. They're all close range. Um, No, they're not all close, close range. They're actually, like, they're, they're like, kind of fast and they reach a little far. Uh, but his slow walk speed doesn't really complement their range and like mm. and like how fast they are. Okay. It does, but like defensively more so than offensively. And then the other charge motion character is um, is a little bit of the opposite, where he has really fast move speed. He has really good like poking and like long range buttons that like are good for like combos and stuff. Um, and he has a lot of specials that are really strong and really and really oppressive. This character wants to dance. Yeah. And then he wants to like push you in the corner and then dance on you some more. So, um, but his caveat is that he has a really slow fall speed. So when you're in a game like Street Fighter, where it's... doing the jumping and falling and jumping attack, that kind of thing, like the up is, and down. Yeah, where jumping is a huge, is a high risk, like medium reward at best, or it's it's a high risk, high reward actually, yeah. high risk, high reward decision to make. When your jump speed is really slow, it's like extra risky to go for the jump because now it's even higher risk with with the same reward yeah uh, and and the, this turtle character it's guile and and bison uh, so so guile has you know that flash kick that he does yes yeah, yeah. yeah his his like his universal anti here so what guile so the way charge motion works in fighting games is um guile only has only has two specials he has charge back uh f- with his fireball and he has oh! charge ooh, Sorry, Jinzu, you seem to be talking off topic a bit. And we got story to get to! <laughs> <laughs> Take the officer, Jinzu! Oh shit, we just arrested the last few BB soldiers, Captain. For some reason, they look exactly like us, but don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry, you get to voice all of the officers because you're Irish as well, right? Yeah, totally. I'm totally doing an Italian accent, but whatever. <laughs> the, you, Captain oh, you Bula, mean like the Irishman? The movie The Irishman, when they hired a bunch of Italian actors? <laughs> yep. Basically, playing an Italian guy, doing an Cap- Irishman. Captain Bullwhip, you're also under arrest. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For being corrupt as balls. <laughs> I'm the balls. law here. Oh yeah! Thank you so much, Walking. That was a great, really bad for you. Really, thank you. He tries to kiss me, I just punch. <sighs> Officer Jitsu. Rosie, Mr. Richmond is worried about you. You should get back to town. He's got to make sure you got your upgrades right, M- Mega. Mania? Me- Megamind? Megamind? Megaman? Me- oh, uh, of course. Thank you, officer. This whole time I've been a robot girl. I have to go back now, walking. But come to see me later at my grandfather's place. Wink! <laughs> <laughs> I do, I'll be honest, I do like the wave, just the... <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> but yeah, I, I value... Uh, just gameplay and story is like my main things. Mystery man, we're not going to let them go. Why not just steal the devices from them now? They could stop. They couldn't stop us. Mystery girl, why me? Because you, <laughs> uh, you. I think we need not worry. They still have. They still have not found the last one. The last one. We can simply wait until they are all collected together. Then take them. Asshole. But what about the BB bandits? We can't count on them anymore. Who exactly would we have looking for the last device? I believe I have a solution to that problem already. I dressed up as cosplayed Princess Zelda. Don't just, give me anything. I just wore less. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We defeated the BB bandits. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more and we'll catch you next time. As Duke runs down the mountain with our new personally, you can't mine the submarine. Damn why it! Did, why did it look like a sword for a moment for me? I oh wait, why. am I supposed to? What? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go to one of these devices. Yeah. What? So, let's just head back home and then yeah, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe for more, and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bandits. Bandits. Remember, video end first. Give me das Mouse. Das Mouse in dein Asenholen. What? <laughs>